So, Rain World is a game I heard of quite often, but funny enough, I'd never gotten around to getting to play it. As of recent, I've wanted to get more story-based games, or games with impactful visuals and character designs, and that's what I got from Rain World. The game's opening scenes are probably one of the most visually beautiful things I've ever seen in any media ever. It tells a story about a slug cat that gets separated from his family by the heavy rains of this world. And the first time I saw this, I actually got a bit emotional, even though I just got the game and didn't know anything about it. Something about the music and the art really hit me on a deep level. I really can't do this opening justice, and the only way to get the full effect of it is by watching it yourself. This is a very melancholy atmospheric game, and even though I was getting chased and attacked by monsters and these lizards, I had this weird feeling of comfort. Something that I really hadn't felt for a while. This world feels dreaded, it's a post-apocalyptic world, you hear dripping water everywhere you go, and you'd know why later in the game. The game is relatively easy for the first hour or two of playing, at least for an epic gamer like myself. But after those two hours, I started noticing that this game is insanely unfair in its RNG. Call me a tiny little bitch all you want, but this game kicked my ass more times than I could count, and I swear, it was only my fault like 50% of the time. You're so vulnerable, the most consistent weapon in this game is a spear, and it's only somewhat useful. It only stunned the enemies unless you hit them a lot of times. Sometimes you get five enemies on you, and you have no choice but to hide in one of these tubes you travel in like a baby. While I really love the gameplay and atmosphere, I can say with full confidence that this is not a game for short timber people like me. The only reason I stayed is because I wanted to see what else was in this mysterious world. But so much of the time was just miserable, man. The movement is super complex, and even after 20 hours of playing, I haven't even scraped the surface of what Slutke can do. There are also multiple regions in this game. The one you start in is called the Outskirts. It is the calmest and simplest like an easiest region. It is a very nice design that gives you enough objects to jump off when in danger by the stupid dragons. But there's one. <laughs> One region I hated so much I just had to have a section shitting on it. Shaded Citadel. This region is the most dreadful, boring, uneventful region in this entire game. It gave me nothing to work with except these little stupid glowing rats that sometimes slowed me down and hindered my jumps. I was stuck in this area for hours and after a while I just decided to restart my save file. Yes, I was that pissed off. If you ever come across Shaded Citadel, leave immediately. There are no redeeming features, it's like playing the game blindfolded. There are a lot of plus sides to this game though. Its AI is phenomenal. They feel like living, breathing entities. They move around, eat other animals, fight each other, and they do all of this off screen as well. This world feels very lived in, and I think that's a huge plus when it comes to an immersive world. There are many good worlds as well though, like the outskirts, industrial complex, drainage system, and chimney canopy, and the five pebbles, but that's kind of later in the game, and I should tell you if you want to play the game. The objectives in this game may be a bit vague, but I feel like that enhances the experience. I love feeling like a caveman running around scavenging food and at the bottom of the food chain. Makes me feel like, like the Stone Age version of myself. And the ending. And the ending, oh my god. The ending to this game gave me some major chills. It was visually stunning and made me feel like an eight year old celebrating about his new toy selection. But it is definitely worth getting. Thank you for watching. Please leave a dislike and a hate comment and bye.